Hi, in this problem, we are going to find this limit. We have the limit as x approaches zero from the left of one over x minus one over the absolute value of x. So the first step is going to be to think about what happens when you plug in zero. When you do that, you end up with one over zero, one over zero, so that's no good. So we have to try something else to see if we can get some type of solution. So the absolute value of x is a piecewise function. It's equal to x if x is greater than or equal to zero, and it's equal to minus x if x is less than zero. So in our particular problem, x is approaching zero from the left. So that means that x is less than zero. So that means that the absolute value of x is equal to negative x, right? Because if x is less than zero, the absolute value of x is equal to negative x. So let's go ahead and start by just rewriting what we have here. So our limit is actually limit as x approaches zero. And so we still have the one over x, so parentheses one over x minus, and then the absolute value of x is minus x. So it's gonna be one over minus x. This minus can come upstairs and then you have two negatives, so it becomes a positive. So this is the limit as x approaches zero of one over x plus one over x. This is the limit as x approaches zero, oops, from the left, I forgot to put that, of two over x. So obviously this is not going to exist, so let's try to do better than that, right? Because if you plug in zero, it's not gonna work. So x is approaching zero from the left, so here's zero. So you're coming this way. So you're getting infinitely close to zero from the left. So um, you're getting negative numbers really close to zero. So basically what you have here is you have a two over um, small numbers that are positive, except they're not really positive, right? Because there's a negative here, so negative. So you're gonna get something like two over negative 0.00001 or two over, you know, it, it, it's gonna get smaller and smaller and smaller. So it's a limit. So you're getting infinitely close to zero. So these numbers here, without the negative, it would be really huge, right? But there's a negative here, so it's gonna be negative and huge. So basically this is approaching negative infinity. That's one way to do it. So the answer here is negative infinity. Another way to do it is to think about the graph of this function. So let me just do it down here. So two over x looks something like this. Okay, and you've got a vertical asymptote and a horizontal asymptote. So as x approaches zero from the left, whoops, as x approaches zero from the left, the y values go down forever, so it approaches negative infinity. So that works as well. However, uh, in cases where it's harder to graph the function, it's better to understand it this way. Good luck.